this video let's see another common question which the aspirant faces that is how to divide subjects during uh, their uh, course of preparation and what are all the subjects we need to focus on so coming to the first part that is division of subjects we have two ways of doing it either preparing a single subject marathon for a week or two weeks or we can even uh, take up two or three subjects in a given day and prepare accordingly but in my personal opinion while starting your preparation for your respective entrance always start with a weekly or bi-weekly schedule that is you take up a single subject and make sure that you prepare that completely for a week or two weeks. If you're not sure that you're going to complete the entire syllabus of that subject in a week, then extend that to the next week. So this is how we can do it. First thing, take up a single subject and try to cover it in a week or two. So if you put one week as a target for any one subject, what you do is, in a week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you try to complete the entire synopsis pertaining to that particular subject. So you can spend the first three days of a week for understanding the synopsis and memorizing important topics. And then on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, you can focus on doing as many multiple choice questions as possible. So that's really very important. On Sunday, we can practice various test papers or if you have joined in any academy, you can write their respective exam, right? So Sunday will be the exam day. So by following this specific pattern, I'm sure we can all cover 70 to 80% of the syllabus in that particular subject but not the entire 100%. So initially, you start off with a weekly plan or a bi-weekly plan and make sure that you spend the first two to three days in a given week for completing the synopsis. And the rest three days, concentrate on multiple choice questions, cross-checking your answers, referring, and make sure that you refer standard textbooks. And if necessary, make sure that you add up stick-on notes to your standard textbooks pertaining to that chapter. And on Sunday, you'll be testing yourself either by writing an exam, online exam or offline exam conducted by an uh, academy which you have enrolled into or you can test yourself by uh, doing various practice papers. So that's how we can strategically cover uh, subjects in weekly or bi-weekly fashion. And as we progress and as we near the entrance, maybe three months before entrance or four months before entrance, we can implement another strategy which is covering two to three subjects in a given day. So initially we'll be starting with a single subject so that you can focus on all the important aspects so that you can cover the entire subject in total in a given week or two weeks. So later on before you come or near your entrance exam, that is three to four months before the exam, you can focus on two to three subjects per day. Like you can divide uh, your entire day into three sessions, morning, afternoon, and evening, and focus on different subjects simultaneously. So that com combination can be done at a later date. But start off with a single subject per week or two weeks. You always divide a given day into three sessions, that is morning session, an afternoon, and an evening session. Morning session might extend from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. So consider this as morning session. And we have another session starting from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So this will be your afternoon session. And evening session from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. or even 9 p.m. So divide your day into three sessions, morning, afternoon, and evening session, and make sure that you focus on memory-based topics in the morning session, and then focus on drawing on flowcharts, diagrams, notes, etc. in the afternoon session, and try to focus on various logic-based questions, etc. in the evening session. So broadly and vaguely, we can classify 
our day into the following sessions and plan accordingly. And now coming to the second, uh, second segment in this video, what are all the subjects we need to focus on? So as we all know, as we all are very thorough, we have basically two, uh, two classifications broadly. One is clinicals and another one is basics. So what do we need to really concentrate on? Should we concentrate more on clinicals or should we concentrate both on clinicals as well as basics? So it all depends on the entrance we are orienting ourselves to. There are certain entrances wherein the focus is more on clinicals rather than on basics. And there are some entrances where there is focus on both the subjects, like clinicals as well as basics. So this can be analyzed by going through previous question papers, like 10 to 15 year old question papers, so that we'll have an idea or glimpse of what are all the topics that are being concentrated on. So is it more of clinicals or is it both, clinicals and basics? So for example, if we have aims, entrance questions, there is more focus on certain areas like orthodontics, prosthodontics, endodontics. At the same time, they give equal weightage to both clinicals as well as basics. And then coming to Comet K, we have again the same weightage on both clinicals as well as basics. And specifically, there is more focus on public health dentistry, which is commonly neglected by the aspirants. So again, depending upon the entrance we are preparing, we, have, uh, we need to understand what the focus is really on and prepare accordingly. And most importantly, while we were preparing, my guide, uh, Dr. Sharath, personally told us several times that every one of us will study clinicals. Every one of us will study dental materials, oral path, etc. But the student or the aspirant who really focuses on basics will really have an edge over others compared uh, comparatively in that given competition. So if you really want to score high, do well and come out with flying colors. So you need to focus equally on clinicals as well as on basics. So that's really important. So take home message, you need to focus on all subjects, but at the same time, you need to understand what the areas of concentration are in that particular entrance and then prepare accordingly. So to summarize this video, so how to divide subjects? Hope you have an understanding now. Start with a single subject for a period of week or two weeks and then try to start a cumulative fashion of preparation wherein you can focus two to three subjects per day during the course of your preparation uh, while you are approaching the entrance exam. And secondly, what are all the areas or subjects you need to focus on? Is it clinicals or basics? I would like to conclude this way. If you want to really score high, do well in your respective entrance, you need to focus equally on both clinicals as well as basics. So that's really important. And thank you very much for watching the video. All the best.